Hello everyone, welcome. I hope you're feeling energized, well rested, and sexy. Can't underestimate that sexy part. I hope you feel sexy, because you are. I can tell. On the heels of what I would call a rather welcome, albeit slightly underwhelming pitch from PlayStation about their new subscription model, it left what I think I would describe as kind of like a, oh, I mean, that's kinda cool, I guess, but is that it? That's all you got? I think the service itself will have good value to it. That's not even a question in my mind, but it will ultimately, as I keep saying, sound like a broken record at this point, but it will rely upon that catalog, that library of games that it offers. And with that, it was a bit of a bummer that there was gonna be no way to play PS3 games natively via emulation on PS5 at least, at least at the launch of the service. And a lot of people definitely agree with that sentiment, but we have Mr. Jeffreyus Alberto Grubb, and that's not his actual name, but it sounds fun to say it that way. Try it. PlayStation could be working on PS3 emulation, which would be the ideal scenario if they put the time and effort and resources into it and figure it out. So Mr. Grubb comes out and he says, since talking about this all week, the service he means, I've looked, I've asked, it sounds like Sony might be working on emulation for PS3 on PS5. He said, it may take some time. Obviously, this all has big grain of salt energy here, but even by his own admission, I think Jeff Grubb knows that. But just to have this small little kernel of a thought that maybe they're working, I, we're grasping at straws here, but just the idea that they might be working on something that's been a request since the PS4 days is good to see, in my opinion, at least at least. At least it's something to look forward to. <laughs> I, I overall still have reservations about locking the backwards compatibility behind this service, the subscription model. The ideal scenario is that you just have a PS3 game, you pop it into your PS5, and it does a little install maybe, and then it plays it. If this is any indication, it is in the works and may eventually come, I hope that also comes with it at some point because that's the ideal scenario. You shouldn't have to pay for what is effectively a kind of leasing or rental service for your games but right now as it stands it does seem like there's a lot of shrugging the shoulders and being like it's kind of hard man what do you want us to do now it hasn't been said out loud as much but the ps3 has a cell processor well, well that part's been said out loud but rather i don't think playstation ever has publicly at least acknowledged that it could be kind of hard to get ps3 games to run on ps4 or ps5 given the cell processor of the ps3 to get those games to run natively i should say now there is a counter to that and the counter to that is that there's ps3 emulators on pc that run the games on probably lesser hardware than the ps5 is right now so there's really not an excuse beyond just not wanting to invest the time and resources into it. This is something that Grubb mentioned as well because he, like us, is also frustrated with the state of this announcement. And he said, I wish they would come out and tell us that. Tell us that you care about this stuff because that is what was missing from the PS Plus announcement to me. It seemed like they didn't care about any of it. They just slapped it together, put a new name on it, and sold it. I'm probably going to be the optimist here and remain hopeful that they'll eventually enable this feature, but right now it's kind of a no man's land of or just feeble hopes that are failing to be realized because PlayStation does play their cards close to their vets pretty often, which on one hand is fair. I mean, you want them to announce things when they are ready to go, but at the same time, we should want them to be, you know, more communicative and maybe just let us know what they're working on. Or if they have plans for something, don't do this like half-baked announcement where you say, here's the service, but you don't really announce what's gonna be on it. Just do it all at once. You can only capture people's attention once with an announcement like this. Now, on top of all this news, it's clear that PlayStation is not done with their acquisitions. And this is important to note as they enhance PlayStation Plus. Jimothy Ryan, you know, big friend of the channel, CEO of PlayStation, spoke on the official PlayStation podcast to say that they're going to continue to make acquisitions where possible. We're growing our studios organically and we're growing through acquisition. We acquired five studios during the course of 2021. We're in discussions with Bungie and we have more planned. This is getting us into a virtuous cycle where success begets success. Now, if you were following any of the online discord over the last week or two, which Take my advice, you should never ever follow online discourse. You'll spiral downward at some point, and then you'll wonder how you got there. And I'll tell you, it's your fault. Or at least it's some ulterior algorithms. I'm not gonna get into this right now. But if you were, you were following this discourse, 
you would know that there's a lot of insiders and a lot of people who had teased that PlayStation had some big PlayStation news to come. And there's rumors that a big publisher or developer is probably going to be getting acquired by PlayStation at some point. Now, I really don't want to get into who and what and why, but clearly PlayStation does not have plans of slowing down. And in that, I am hesitantly or at least kind of afraid of what this means in the long term, of course, for gaming, because the bigger these gaming entities get, be it Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, or even like Amazon or Netflix, you could argue like Amazon is way too big as it is anyway, but that's a whole other video entirely. It could harm a lot of smaller devs and games out there just trying to get some air amongst this crowded space. It does speak to the benefit of having a Game Pass type service out there that can help some devs get exposure, but I just don't know. Maybe I'm just getting all conspiracy theory about it or worrying for nothing. I do just worry overall we are getting in this habit of just wanting everyone to buy everyone and it could come at this expense of having diverse content or talking or having these stories that we need to tell in this medium or in others or even having competition in the market to just push others in the right direction or push these ideas forward or push different companies to have better ideas or better services. But I'm not an expert on this stuff and you already knew that before you just typed out your mean comment and wagged your finger at me telling me I'm a dumb little boy. But I am simply am a little humble boy who is excited where we are with this hobby right now. But I'm also just tentatively concerned about where things are trending. I don't want to be in a world where there's a handful of major competitors and there's only one way to consume the content. It just doesn't really work for me that way, or at least I don't really like the idea of only being able to experience things a certain way. I don't know if that made any sense, but I said it, so I guess you can decide if it did or not. Now there's a lot here to sink your teeth into, maybe not overall in terms of what we're talking about here, but just in general, or at least think about None of this is immediately apparent what's going to happen or what the future is going to hold for this industry, but it does feel like we are heading down what I would call like a precarious path. And I want to be excited for it. I really do. But I do feel we are heading towards more of a service driven industry that relies on recurring revenue from you, from us, beyond purchasing the games and the content you want, which is great as an option but it shouldn't be the only option. Let me know what you think down below. Am I just a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist? Are you excited for the possibility of PS3 emulation on PS5? Would you like me to wear a funny hat for the next video that I make? Let me know down below. Like and subscribe, of course, if you like the content, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll talk to you all soon. Now, thanks for watching, and I love you all. Maybe.